lives we have been driving cars and riding bikes at crazy speeds and what do we get to see? The world going fast before your eyes. It's a blur. But there's something else you can do. Steer. Not drive, not ride, but steer a boat. Welcome to God's own country, Kerala in South of India. This is the Motor India show and my name is Rod Thari. Just behind me is the Kochi Raja, a name based on a very popular Malayalam movie. Let's go and check out what's inside this movie, Kochi Raja. The moment we got an invite from Alapi based Lakeland Cruise, a leading houseboat operator in Kerala to review their boat and capture their hospitality on camera, I did not think twice. I immediately packed my bag and took a direct flight to Kochi from Delhi where I undertook a two-hour journey by car to Alapi, which is also known as Alapura. Kerala, the southern state of India, is blessed with immense amount of natural beauty. No wonder it is known as God's own country. The hills of Munar, the forests of Thekadi, beaches all over from Tiruvannandapuram to the north, or the backwaters in Alapi and Kumarakam, the state offers loads of fun for tourists. Tourists can choose from several interesting cruise routes. You can opt for a one-night cruise on Punamara Lake or go birdwatching on the Alapura to Kumarakam route or spot the Toddy Tappers on the Alapura to Kottayam route or visit historical places between Alapura to Totapalli. There are many routes to opt from that take you to the place where Ketuvalams or traditional houseboats are made or even visit choir-making villages. The Punnamara Lake is also the venue of the popular 1.5 km Nehru Trophy snake boat race that is held every year. The moment I stepped into the houseboat that went by the name of Kochi Raja, I was pleasantly surprised by the decor inside and the comfort it offered. The small dining area was all lit up and with all the wood carvings around, it looked very traditional and beautiful. The air conditioner was on and I was really not bothered about the humid climate outside. Lakeland Cruise offers houseboats of all shapes and sizes. They are categorized into deluxe, premium and luxury. All the three categories offer air conditioned bedrooms. The premium houseboats offer air conditioning in the dining space too. As for the luxury houseboat, the entire boat is air conditioned. Again, there are boats with two bedrooms to as many as 10 bedrooms with a conference on top that can accommodate around 150 people. Kochi Raja, meaning the king of Kochi, is a premium houseboat. Since it was late night when we reached the boat, we had a quick dinner and retired to our respective bedrooms. The houseboat has two bedrooms with each having a double bed that can accommodate two people. Houseboats have to compulsorily dock in the evening till early morning. At night, fishermen cast their nets to catch fish and hence the government does not permit any houseboat to operate after sundown. By early morning, once we were up and about, the boat ride commenced. Houseboats are usually manned by three people, a captain, a cook and a helper. Once the houseboat is docked at night and the tourists retire to the respective bedrooms, these men sleep in different areas of the boat so as to make sure no one walks out at night and attempts to indulge in any foolhardy exercise. We had a staff of four people at our disposal. An extra cook was called in just in case I needed something different and exquisite to eat. While Das, the captain, and Ravi, the engine driver, took turns steering the boat, Satish, the chef, along with Raj Kumar, his helper, took care of the food. The beautiful part of Kerala and its people is that the tourists can be assured of 100% safety. The ground floor has two bedrooms, one dining area, a small sitting area in front, and a kitchen. The first floor has a huge covered balcony from where one can get a good view of the backwaters and the surrounding scenery. The boat we were in was powered by an overhauled Ashok Leland 370 diesel engine which produces around 90 horsepower. The captain told me that most of the houseboats numbering around 1,500 in the region ran on similar Ashok Leland engines and Mahindra gensets including an inverter. Steering a boat is not as easy as you think. In fact, there are no pedals out here. There's no accelerator, there's no brake, there's no clutch. So how does it work? If you look here on my right, there are two long levers. The one 
here is acts as the accelerator the one here acts as the gear shift so there's a forward gear and there's a reverse gear the morning trip is towards the Vembanad Lake where one gets to see the sunrise. Vembanad Lake covers an area of more than 2,000 square kilometers and has a large network of canals that meander through the region of Kutanad. We docked at a serene place and had a breakfast. After a delicious breakfast comprising of some very tasty Kerala dishes and the usual bread and eggs, we were off to explore the vast backwaters of Kerala. The real cruise began for us. The cruise started from the Pallathuratil jetty covering Kannitha, Kuppapuram, Alipi finishing point, Punnamara Lake, Vembanad Lake, C Block, R Block, Nedumudi, Champakulam, Najipadam and back to Pallathurathi. I know some of the names are real tongue twisters but what the heck, no one was complaining. The torque high engine of Ashok Leyland does not go fast here. They travel at a speed of around 3 knots, which is a little more than 5 kilometers per hour. It's like your entire house moving at the speed with a perfect smoothness. Though all boats carry mandatory pollution certificates from the Kerala Pollution Control Board, I could later make out that the air had a strong whiff of diesel smoke, especially when all the houseboats were traveling close to each other. The state government, I guess, needs to be seriously implementing pollution control norms before the air turns foul. As the boat made its way silently through broad and narrow routes, you get to see boats of all shapes and sizes, both motorized as well as the traditional rowboats. I spotted a lot of motorized boats, even small ones. Homes dotted both sides of a route. Temples and churches were to be seen at some places. Thankfully, there were no high-rise buildings. A houseboat ride is all about unwinding. Whether you spend your time taking selfies or simply reading a book or just staring at the beautiful scenery, a Kerala houseboat ride will definitely energize you immensely. I hope you have enjoyed this video from Alipay. Do not forget to like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to the Motown India channel, do so now. So the next time you really want to unbind, do consider the beautiful backwaters of Kerala. Ciao.